Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Nottingham Forest versus Southampton. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number 20, Brennan Johnson. And number 39, Chris Ward. Good. Good luck. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Kaylon Navas starts in goal. Renan Lodi plays with Serge Aurier in the fullback positions. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Thank you, enjoy the game. And the game begins. Morgan Gibbs White. Committed challenge. A cruise to the attacking side. Sulemana. Ward Prowse. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Well, it certainly was a bold attempt. Good to see him try his luck with the chip. Well, it's a great attempt. Opts to lift it over the keeper, just gets a little bit too much on it. Not the best challenge, free kick. A reminder, tickets for the next game are available for sale after today's game. Adams. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, Southampton have it back now. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Morgan Gibbs White. Well, they have the ball once more. Romain Perrault. Out of play for a Southampton throw. Now, what on earth happened there? Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Aurier. And space to exploit, maybe. It needs an accurate cross. 
Wood. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build-up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough. Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. Going short. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Oh, great attacking play. And it's played into the centre. And the keeper got there. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Short corner favoured. Electing to cross into the centre. A deft clearance. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Just the challenge that was required. Romain Perrault. Chance to do damage. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Oh, he's given it away. Not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. So a personnel change then. Ryan Yates. Freiler in possession. A foul, but advantage played. Well read to win possession back. And a no-nonsense clearance. They might be able to get in now. He's foiled them on his own. Ward Prowse. Yates. Oh, this is looking promising. Romain Perrault. And Bednarek. Back now to the goalkeeper. And providing width. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. This looks more than decent. He must finish! Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal.
What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. On the cusp of the final whistle, and they're making home advantage count, but only just. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game, but if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well, and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Chalet Atsar. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Mongala. Wood with it. Morgan gives white. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition. And that was the case here. They kept going and they eventually got their reward. Well, Stuart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.